Hello everyone, it's Joe here, and today we are going to be doing a mod spotlight, which is something I haven't done in over a year now, and I thought it was worth doing. Uh, mainly because we haven't put a video out, and I just felt like making a video for everyone. So, the mod we're looking at today is the Lucky... The Lucky... what was it called? The Lucky Block mod. You'll recognise this from Mario if you've ever played Mario. If not, it's the block that Mario jumps up and punches to get a one-up or a mushroom or a fire flower. Like, you, you probably... I can't imagine anyone would know what that is, but anyway. Basically, what this mod adds in is a block where when you mine it, it will give you an random thing. Like, it could be anything. But they're also normally relative to a topic, so like redstone, uh, I don't know, redstone, brewing, potions, just, and yeah. Also, I do have other mods installed on this, so if you see anything that looks out of place, that's why. You notice I have armor, a sword, and a pickaxe, that's, that's because not all the time do you get nice things in this. Sometimes you get things that just like fuck your day over completely. So yeah, basically this 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 block, you just find them scattered about the world. They're a very, very rare spawn, I think, so if you can find one, well done. Because I've never found one successfully on survival. I've never found one successfully on survival on my own. So if if you can find one, good job, well done. So yeah, let's get to it. Basically, what you do, you just you just mine it, and like this one, it spawns XP potions everywhere, and then that gets us to level six. This one, stone tools. This one, iron armor. This one, gold tools. This one, a gold block. This one, a fuck ton of hell. No, 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 no. no. And it turns it to night, and they're always hostile. Shit. Okay, so now that crisis has been averted. Well, I say averted, it wasn't averted. I died and I had to reset this, but we're back. Look at all that XP. Dude. I have to get this for no reason. Um, so yeah, that's an, uh, an example of one of the worst traps you get. As I've never seen that one before, and as far as I know, that's as bad as it gets. But anyway... Was, it gave you a zombie brain. Great. Arrows and a bow. Always useful. Electric creeper. Never, never useful. Ever. I was also dead, so, you know, that's great. Um, we've got these ones. Let's do a few more so you get a better idea. There is a few, some really cool things in this mod I really want to show you guys, but I can't make them happen. I have to rely on the mod making them happen. That's another one. Diamond block good thing to do when you get that is to make sure that you put out the fire because yesterday when I did it droppers uh, yesterday when I did it I uh, I did it and it fell into the fire and I lost it completely I was like oh yeah this is another one of the good ones it spawns four of them as far as I know these ones are never traps they're always good plus you get sandstone and gold from it so that's always a good thing this one Oh, lava. I have the dynamic light mod, so this will create light. Oh, my inventory is full already. I'm going to have to deposit some stuff. Okay, that should be good. And then there's that, which is a diamond chest plate, which you already have. But there is a few more. There's one I really want to show you guys, and if it doesn't spawn, then I'll just cut out to the bit what it is in, but is it's my favorite one that's always good mm, that's good as well that's a lot that's a lucky draw that's good that's also very lucky as well gold and a cake might keep that actually, just in case i get hungry although i think i am on peaceful now because of previous incidents if you catch my drift Obsidian, that's always good. Gold armor, meh. Why is it glowing? Is that? Well, I don't know. It does that. It's part of the 
dynamic light mod. Also very good. That's probably the one of the coolest ones. I mean, like, if you need dye, you just fucking die everywhere. Oh god, that sounds horrible if you take it out of context. Die everywhere. Oh god. Uh, oh yeah, this one's always cool. Chickens and diamonds, so... Oh. Well, that's a one way of cancelling out the chicken problem. I'm going to take this um, pork. Luckily, I have to keep inventory, so we're, we're all good. And yes, I know that was steak, not pork. Ow. Oh, another cake. Oh, they don't stack, do they? Oh, we'll use this obsidian. It's not like we're going to be going to the nether anytime soon. Uh, these blocks, I don't think they can be crafted. I, mm, I, As far as I know, they can't be crafted. Um, oh, dragon egg. That's always good, because there's only one of those in vanilla Minecraft. Oh, no, no, there it is. And a nether cube, which is what this texture pack calls a nether star. Try a few more, and if we don't get it, we don't get it. I'll let you guys experiment with it. Iron. And emerald. And a few potions there as well. Skulls. You never get food. Dies again. And that. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really want to be showing the things I'm trying to find. But still, this is a really cool mod, guys. I advise you to get it as soon as you can. It requires Minecraft Forge. It's a very easy install. I'm sure you can find it on the internet somewhere. Uh, yeah, Lucky Blocks. Lucky Blocks mod. Lucky Locks. Lucky Blocks mod, guys. I, I advise you to check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Whoa, that looks awesome. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.